In this video, we explore angles formed by intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that meet at a single point, and we can identify relationships between the angles formed in order to solve geometric problems. For example, whenever we have a pair of intersecting lines like this, we can always identify pairs of opposite angles formed at the intersection. We call these angles vertically opposite angles, and as we'd expect, they're always equal. We can also identify this pair of vertically opposite angles, which are also equal. Given a number of intersecting lines, we'll be able to identify pairs of vertically opposite angles, and we'll know that each pair is equal. Another relationship involves the angles formed on a straight line. These angles combine to give a half turn of 180 degrees, so the angles formed on a straight line always add to 180 degrees. With several intersecting lines, we'll be able to identify different angle pairs on straight lines, and we'll know that each pair add to 180 degrees. Here we have three angles on the straight line. So together, these three will add to 180 degrees. The final relationship involves the angles formed at a point. A full turn is 360 degrees, so the angles at a point will always add to 360 degrees and we can apply this relationship in many situations, any time we're interested in the angles from a point. So, let's apply these relationships to find angles A, B and C in this diagram. Angle A forms a straight line with this angle. Since the angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees, angle A equals 180 minus 108, or 72 degrees. Angle B is vertically opposite to this angle. Since vertically opposite angles are equal, angle B also equals 108 degrees. And here we have the angles at a point adding to 360 degrees, so angle C equals 360 minus 36, or 324 degrees. We can abbreviate our working, giving the angle relationships we used. In this problem, we need to find angles X and Y given two other angles. Angle X is vertically opposite to this angle, and so is also 40 degrees. Having found this angle, we can now calculate angle Y. Since the three angles form a straight line of 180 degrees, angle Y will be 180 minus 85 minus 40, or 55 degrees. And here's our working, showing the geometric reason we used at each step. In further lessons, we'll be using these relationships regularly to help us solve geometric problems. So always be on the lookout for these angle relationships, and how you can use them as part of your solution.